my two cents. I really just need to share this with you. I was having a conversation with someone this morning. It was actually um, one of my coaching clients and I've been working with this person for uh, probably about four or five months now, which is great because we've been developing a really great rapport. And she said to me, which was great, and I, I, I really like feedback. So she said to me, you know, it's really great. I love these conversations that we have, Michelle, because it really leaves me feeling um, enthusiastic and it leaves me feeling refreshed and joyful almost and knowing that I can take on the world and I can make a success and I can do whatever I need to do, which is, that's awesome. I love hearing that feedback. I love to see that spark go off in people and, and know that the things that I'm helping them with or the, you know, the guidance that I'm giving them is absolutely making a meaningful difference in their life. So we were talking this morning about uh, something that, uh, you know, basically just in a reflection about, you know, just our inner reflection and how we think about ourselves and how we think about the impact that we have on others. And we were having this great conversation around uh, the golden and dark shadows of ourselves which is very much a positive psychology um, theory and practice. So we were having a big and deep and meaningful about how we perceive ourselves and the impact that others have on our emotions and how we need to uh, manage our own emotions. And, you know, it's, it's obviously it's something that we have, con- we have control over and they don't. And we can't control them. We can control ourselves. So we're having this great conversation around all of these amazing positive psychology uh, concepts. And this person is uh, was brought up in a Buddhist uh, country, and and this person that I've been dealing with, she was uh, brought up in some of the Buddhist traditions when she was really young, and she said to me. She's like, wow, these conversations that we have, and particularly this one, has really brought me back to those teachings that I received when I was young in Buddhism. And it's all about taking responsibility for self in everything that we do. And I was fascinated by this because, you know, although I'm not a religious person, I, you know, have a high level of spirituality and... It just really interested me that she's reflected on Buddhism when I was talking about positive psychology. And I think, wow, you know what? These, these, these skills, these understanding ourselves, the understanding of others, having great relationships, building rapport, whatever you want to call it, it's all really deeply rooted and it's really basic, simple human stuff. That comes from a long time. I mean, Buddhism's been around a hell of a lot longer than positive psychology or psychology in itself. And it draws on some of the same fundamental principles. So that was just fascinating to me. And it really made me go, you know what? I'm on the right track here. This is, this is the stuff that we need to know because it's absolutely fundamental. And we knew it when we were a kid. But now we're adults. We've forgotten about it again. But wow, do we need it to be successful in life. So you know what? Fundamental. Get to know yourself. Get to know others. Be reflective. Have a look at positive psychology. Martin Seligman is a great one for that. He's got a fabulous book that you can read. He's got a great website that you can have a look at. Get on it. Have a look at it. And learn. My name is Michelle Holland and this is my two cents.